Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, we'll see how to create this typography poster that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, now before we're gonna start creating our effects, uh, make sure to download all this uh, stuff that we'll be using to create. Uh, this effect now you can see I have in here texture and the brush that I will make sure to put in the link down in description below just find it and download it it's free and also we need uh, to generate this word cloud I already uh, got mine in here but I will show you how to do that all right so uh, you can just use whatever text you want I'm gonna use this one just you know Google a text or a quote or a poem or whatever and copy it so i will uh, select it and i will copy it and i will go over to this website that is called word clouds that will uh, generate the clouds as you can see in here so to do that just uh, head to file in here and choose paste slash type text and you know just paste it in here and i will delete this space between the paragraphs all right and I will click apply and there we go we have uh, our text generated but you can see uh, the shape is not what we want so I'm gonna change the shape by going to shape in here and you can see there are a lot of shapes that you can choose from so for me I will choose this square in here we'll keep it simple and then I will change the direction of the words. So I will go to this uh, uh, direction of words in here, this icon. And as you can see, there is a lot to choose from. Uh, but I think I will keep it like this. I think this will work. All right, so I will keep it like that. And then I'm gonna change the font. So I will go to font in here and I will choose impact. And also you can uh, change uh, the gap between every word in here by going to this gap size in here and choose two or four or you know whatever you want and as you can see it will change the gap between every word in here and uh, one last thing is uh, to change the theme so just go over themes in here and you know it's better to choose this uh, white on gray background just choose it and, and then you can change the background by going to uh, the colors in here and you can see we have the color of the background so you can just uh, click on color and you can put zero in the transparency like that and click apply and you can see we'll have it in a transparent background and also you can change the color of the text too so go to colors again and you know in here as you can see it said cloud color just one click on this gray and you know can change it to white or black and click apply all right so now our text is ready so we need to uh, download it so we go again to file and i will choose save as png so this way you can save it in a transparent background and you don't need to copy it or anything so just choose save as png and give it a name and press ok and there we go it will uh, download it for you as you can see i can uh, choose open or save in here and you know uh, you can uh, use it but i already have mine so i'm just gonna close this and you can see i already create mine in on a, a transparent background all right so i will go ahead and open uh, photoshop and then i will go to file new and uh, the, the size I will be using is 2000 for the width and 3000 for the height, 300 in the resolution and RGB in the car mode. And of course you can change it to CMYK if you want to print it. And I will press OK. Alright, now I'm going to create a background. So I will go to adjustment and I will choose solid color. And I will use a gray color. So I will use... 34 34 34 in here and i'll press ok and i can delete this background in here and i will call this bg for background all right now i'm gonna apply uh, the texture as you can see in here so i'm gonna take it and open it and then i will rotate it 
by pressing shift just like that and i will make it bigger by pressing alt shift or you know option shift on a mac and as you can see it will fit in here and i will one click on this check mark all right now i'm gonna restore so i'm gonna right click and choose restore layer and then i will uh, make it black and white so i'm gonna press Control shift u or you know command shift u on a mac and then i'm gonna change the blending mode of it to let's see multiply all right and then i'm gonna press Control l or command l to bring the level adjustment and i will make it even darker than this all right maybe i'll add a little bit of highlights and hope it's okay and then I will lower the opacity of it around 50%. As I know, you know, you can uh, still play with uh, the tone of it. If you want to make it even darker, you can do that. All right, so we're done with the background. Now we, we're gonna create our text. So I'm gonna create a new a layer and I will call it text. And I will use it as a smart object. So if I want to change this, I can just change the smart object. So I will right click and choose convert to smart object and then I will double click on it on here and as you can see it will open in a, a new tab and then I can paste my PNG word clouds in here. So I'm going to take it and open it in here and as you can see now I'm going to make it bigger a little bit and I will put it just down here. All right and I will one click on the check mark. Now we'll close this and I will make sure to press yes to save it. And there we go, we have our text in here uh, open in this smart object. All right, now I'm gonna create a new layer for the image. I'm gonna call this image. And again, I will use it as a smart object. So I will right click and choose convert to smart object. And then I will open the smart object by double click on it. And then I will go and uh, open the image I will be using, which is this one. So I'm gonna take it and open it in here. And I will make it a little bit bigger as right about here and I will one click on this check mark and again I will close this tab and I will make sure to press yes to save it and there we go we have our image in here now I'm gonna apply a black layer mask on it so I'm gonna press alt or option and I will one click on this layer mask icon and as you can see now we have a black layer mask all right so now I will head to my brushes and I will use the brushes I put in the link in the description below. So just, you know, when you download it, just double click on it and it will open on Photoshop. So you will find it in here as a group if you have the latest version of Photoshop. All right. So the brush I will be using, it will be a really simple one, but you can choose whatever brush from here. As you can see, there's a lot. But for me, I will use this, this one. I will keep it simple. I'm going to... Make sure that the opacity is set to 100% and the smoothness to zero. And then I'll make sure that I'm using white as my foreground color. And I will make my brush a little bit smaller than this. All right. And then I will one click just right above here. And as you can see now we have the face of the model. You know, just try to click one click as you can see. So we'll have this kind of you know uh, words uh, appearing on the face of the model so that's what we want all right now i'm gonna use another brush i think i will use uh, one of these let's see all right so let's use this one in here again i will keep it simple and i will make it smaller so uh, just like that but i think i'm gonna rotate the brush a little bit so i will right click and you can see now I can rotate it by just going in here and I will make it just like that and then I will make it a little bit smaller than that and I will one click like that and you can see this will create this really nice effect in here all right so as you can see it's a really easy uh, a simple effect to do and it looks really cool all right, so I will uh, go again to my brushes and this time I will use this one in here. And I want to delete a little bit from uh, the face of the model from here. So 
will have a little bit of the text merging with the face so i'm gonna put the opacity of the brush a little bit down to around 50 percent or more let's use 35 percent and i will start deleting using a black color in my foreground in here so i'm gonna delete a little bit from the face just a little bit as you can see so we have this kind of cool text merging with the face and i will do the same in the other part in here just a little bit maybe you can bring down the opacity even more around 20 percent all right so you know just i'm gonna use a little bit uh, here and there all right i think it looks good just like that i like it and i will uh, uh change my foreground to white and i will start using the same brush on the text so it will make it a little bit grungier than uh, how it looks right now all right so i like this but you know you can use as many brushes on this one uh, it will even look even better but I think I'm gonna use another layer in the bottom of this text layer in here so I'm gonna press Control or command and I will one click on this new layer icon and I will call this brush they want to use another brush behind everything in here so I will choose another one all right let's choose uh, this one in here I think this will look good oh let's make the opacity to 100 percent and i would just one click like that all right i like that all right now what i can do is to change uh, the color of this brush that i just used to whatever will match with the image you will be using actually so I'm gonna open the layer uh, size in here by double click just right here or you can go to this fx icon and you know choose blending options and you can see the layer size dialog will open and then you can go to color overlay and this way you can choose whatever color and you can even sample the color from the image itself As you can see i can sample this blue in here which is looks really good and I will press OK and OK. As you can see, we're getting this really cool effect in here. All right, so we're almost done. As you can see, it's a really easy effect to do. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of adjustments on top. And uh, actually, for the text, if you think this is too much of white, you can you know reduce the opacity of it if you want, or you know you can even change the color of it by Again, using the blending options or the layer size by going to this FX icon and choose blending options. And you, know, you can use the same method by going to color overlay and change the color to whatever color you feel it would work the best for you. As you can see, you can use black if you want. But for me, I will just keep it white and I will uh, keep the opacity to around 70 to 80 percent. All right, now. I will uh, select this image and then I will go to adjustment and I will choose gradient map and I will change uh, the gradient maps in here actually I think uh, it looks really good like this too so you can you know turn it black and white if you want but for me I will change the gradient by one click on this gradient in here and I will change the black to a bluish color all right and then i will change the white to a red color all right and i will press ok and ok after that i will change the blending mode of this gradient map to lighten and then i will lower the opacity to around 25 to 20 percent all right something like that as you can see it will add this bluish color which looks really good 
All right, now I will go to adjustment again and I will choose, uh, let's see, color balance. And I will go to uh, the shadows in here and I will try to balance some of the colors in here. It depends on your image. All right, and we we'll just use these sliders and I will see on the image what looks the best for this one. Alright, so we switch to uh, highlights. That would do the same. And then I will switch to uh, the midtones. And again, I will play with the sliders. And just keep your eyes on uh, the image. You don't worry about the numbers. You know, just see what looks good for you. Alright, I think I like this one in here, as you can see. Alright, I like that. Now the last thing that I'm going to do is to add a, a vignette on the image. So I will head to the elliptical marquee tool in here, the second one in here. And then I will uh, create a circle, or you know, something like a circle. Alright, just around here. And then I will switch to the, the quick mask tool in here, or you can press Q on your keyboard. As you can see now we have uh, the selection show as a red color. So now I will go to filter, blur, and I will choose Gaussian blur. And this way you can see how your selection will look like. As you can see now you can see exactly where it will touch the vignette and everything. I like it like that and hope it's okay. Now we'll go out from uh, the mask tool by one click on here or you know you can click Q. Now I'm gonna invert my selection by pressing Ctrl Shift I or you know Command Shift I. And you can see now we have the selection invert. Now we'll go to adjustment and I will choose curves. And you can see it will directly apply uh, the selection on a layer mask. Now we can darken it and we'll create a vignette. So I'm gonna make one point in here and I will darken it a little bit. Just a little bit like that. And I will make another point just right here. All right, I think it looks really good. But you can always bring down the opacity if you don't like it. So I'm gonna bring it down to around 70%. And as you can see, we're done creating our typography poster in here. Now there is one last thing that you can add actually is a high pass filter. So uh, to do that, just make a snapshot of the image or you know, a stamp visible layer that will check uh, what's visible on your uh, screen and put it on a layer. So uh, for us to do that, we need to use a keyboard shortcut, which is uh, this one. Shift, Control, Alt, E, or you know, shift command option e on a mac as you can see now we have a layer on top of everything and that has everything that we just created without you know affecting this uh, every layers that in here so in case we can go back and you know adjust uh, some some of the layers but we're not gonna do that we're gonna use it as a high pass filter so i'm gonna call this high pass And then I will uh, turn it to black and white by pressing Ctrl Shift U or you know Command Shift U. And then I will go to Filter and I will go to Other and I will choose High Pass in here. And I will give it to 0 0.7 radius pixel in here. Uh, but you know you can just give it whatever you want actually. And hope it's okay. Alright, as you can see, you can't see much. But if you zoom in, you can see these little details that will make a lot of difference. Alright, now I'm gonna change the blending mode of it to... You can choose either hard light or linear light. Linear light is a little bit too much, so I'm gonna choose hard light. And now, if I zoom in, and if I turn this high pass layer on and off, you can see the difference. As you can see, there's a lot of details showing in here. 
and if you don't like it just you know put down the opacity to around 70% or you know even more and this would be all so I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know let me know if you try this effect and show me out i would love to see uh, your results and have a nice day thank you for watching